The number one question I get is, you know, where has Roscoe Dash been? I ain't seen him in a minute, I haven't heard from him. Where has Roscoe Dash been? Everywhere, man. <laughs> I've been um, doing a lot of different stuff, man. I just started a production company, um, probably like January of last year. It's called Dreamers Republic. I've been putting that together. We do everything from uh, the beats to the media side. I got a couple artists I've been working on, uh, as well as writing for other people too, uh, working on their new projects and stuff like that. Just keeping myself busy, man. Um, molding my craft, I guess. Taking things to the next level. Right, now you just dropped the appetizer. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about the response from that? Um, it's doing exactly what I thought it would do. It's doing exactly what I wanted it to. I didn't, I didn't expect to come out and, and do no Jay-Z and Beyonce numbers or nothing like that. I really just wanted people, I wanted it to go over certain people's head and I wanted the people who were supposed to grasp it to grasp it. Um, right now what we're doing is we're preparing the, the, the main course, you know what I'm saying? We're rolling out, we're shooting the videos for um, the singles off that project, off the appetizer project. Uh, we just shot threesome uh, yesterday actually and we shot uh, features uh, last week. So we're just rolling man and we're about to roll into the, uh, either the Dash Effect or the 2.0 project, uh, the sequels of both of those and just um, keep things moving man. Now the phrase turn up, everybody's using it now. Yeah, yeah. And that's like a, it's in our vocabulary now. How did that phrase come about? Man, that's a really good question. I think um, I was probably like in a, in a really down part of my life uh, at that particular point in time. Um, and I had to make a decision, you know what I'm saying? Either fall by the wayside or turn up, man, and, and take, take it to the next level, man, and, and, and do something for myself that I felt like nobody else was gonna be able to do. So that's what the turn up was. That's why when I made All The Way Turned Up, um, it was All The Way Turned Up, you know what I'm saying? Like I had to turn up all the way, cause if not, then we we ain't gonna get nowhere. So, um, you know, it's crazy how, how the term has kind of traveled. You know, I ain't one of those people that's salty for people using the word and nothing like that. It's actually really dope to me for everybody to be using it, for it to be in their um, everyday vocab. Um, and to know that it started from somewhere as small as this, you know what I'm saying? So it's a good feeling, man. It's kind of like how Wayne and um, and Baby did the bling bling. Right, absolutely. Do you do you feel as though, man, I should have patented or you know copyrighted? Uh -huh. The thing is, I think that being able to, well, knowing in your in your heart, mind, body, and soul that you're the person that created that, and that you can come up with something else just as dope. The fact that it, it spread like wildfire is enough for me. Like, and the thing is that a lot of people don't know, but you can't really coin you can't really coin a phrase. Like, you can only do it in your voice. You know what I'm saying? So when you trademark something, you can only trademark your voice saying it. So I wouldn't be doing anything. I wouldn't be doing myself any justice if I did coin it or, or patent it or anything like that. Anyway, so no, that ain't really about that to me.